30 things you may not know about CSGO. New things you didn't know about CSGO skins. The arm steel update, which also... Those are usually a banger. What do we have? Introduce the first skins in... I'll let you know if I know it or not. Wait, it's about skins! It's about skins! What the... Oh my god, oh my... Chat, 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 chat. Oh my, this is my video, this is my video. I love it, I love it. Oh my god, I thought it was just about CS. Here we go. New things you didn't know. How many do you think we know? How do you? Do, how many do you think we know? It's 30 facts. I think I'm gonna know... Zero? Shit! <laughs> I know some stuff about CSGO skins, bro. I've opened some cases. Know about CSGO skins. The arm steel update, which also introduced the first skins in CSGO, was brought to us from an OG NIP lineup. And to be exact, it was Fifth Laren's right hand with a click that got us the skins in the game. All right, that's it. <laughs> Legendary. Yeah, Congrats, guys. P2 we even made a clip on that. And granite marbleized has a hamster pattern. ID of it is 125. Classic. And at the back of the weapon, you can see this beautiful face looking at you 24 7. One Just of the coolest rare patterns, in my opinion. I love the hamster pattern, uh, P2000. Just for your info, there are around 2.5k hamsters in existence. Clock grinder can have cool, differently colored tips. The best looking one is probably the golden tip, but sadly, you can't see them in the game only when expecting the weapon, so it kind of ruins all the fun. Was about to say, I was so excited when I found out that you can get a golden tip clock grinder. A guy made a whole guide on it, and then I actually checked them out in game, and you you couldn't see, you you can't see the tip. You can only see it in inspect. That is so annoying. Now listen to a regular capsule sound. However, autograph sticker capsules somehow have case-like sounds, and when cases have the sound synced with a nice bounce back, then autograph capsules come in as still as a gold nova when they get flashed. A flip knife really can't fold properly, this blade is just way too big for the handle, a bigger blade obviously makes the knife look more fab in the game, but where is the realism in otherwise such a real game? Next up, the lowest flow tradable skin is currently this M249 Gator Mesh, currently because we never know when someone manages to unbox more than 9.90's item or yet- Dennis rock hard right now bro, Dennis owns this M249, proud owner, he always gets tilted as hell when you call it the number 2. Why? Because if you check the database, any database, ah oh yeah, that's a Karam, but that's lower than that. Dennis, number two lowest float skin in the world, congrats. Nah, I'm just kidding, of course it's the number one. Karam, but doesn't count, it's a, it's a bugged item. Crazy M249. Price-wise, Booty, what was the offer that he received? $8,000, received an offer, declined it. Yeah, get banned with it, or put it in a trade-up, endless opportunities to ruin it. Alrighty, skin people have been calling certain skin patterns Jesus patterns for a while. They have been spotted Duelist. on Colony Duelist and Demolition Duelist. Huh? If you're confused like me, then admit that your visual memory about history is awful with a click on the like button. Nowadays, skin prices can fluctuate a lot depending on whether or not top pro players touch them or not. Simple, a current top one player in the world single-handedly broke Nomad Knife prices just by using the case-hardened version of it in his games around a year ago. He obviously plays with a nice little blue gem. It's believed that China loves him big time and mainly them were buying all the Nomads. Here's the visualized price roller coaster of case-hardened Nomads last year, especially before the Antwerp Major. It went nuts when prices peaked above $700. More I remember the simple effect, bro. This was so crazy, Chad. Nobody used Use nomad knives all of a sudden everybody was buying nomad knives after simple use at the major it was so crazy what he did to the price of it like king midas than simple if you admire a piece of art about ladies lower bodies five seven kami with a pattern id 662 delivers and if you're more of a close-up fan 10 pat where's the pussy pattern patterns 909 yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite skins, bro. One of my favorite skins. And 590 are just for you. Go save on your OnlyFans subscriptions and rock and roll with the legendary vagina pattern 24-7. In total, there are around 1.2k items like that in the game. There's also a dick pattern in the game, probably to make things equal. With Huntsman Case Hardened, pattern ID 190, you can see a following figure. And there's an option available on the Bowie version as well. If you're a huge male genital and two- Bro, do you remember when those things went for such crazy prices? Jesus. We made a whole clip on the Max Skillet uh, original Huntsman deck pattern, and it sold after that for what? 
Booty, how much was it? It was delusional. $4,200. A Huntsman Dick Pattern. $4,200. To the S, you can look into weapons as this cracked Opal Tech 9 holds a similar Legendary. shape. M4A4 skin to collision and this sticker leaving the station hollow is a match made in heaven. The symbol is from CSGO itself, representing the V Shipping Corporation. You might have seen it on Nuke for example, but the fact these artworks both use the same symbol and placement and M4 matches with the one sticker spot makes it. If you're interested about CSGO lore, what the symbol means and everything, Jesus made a banger of a video on that on the lore on everything csgo csgo actually has a lore that guy who shipped the update arms and deals guy bobby or whatever his name is check out the jesus video important it looked like it was pre-planned i would move it just a tiny bit to get a perfect perfect match but it doesn't look that bad and of course there are more squarish stickers that do fit amazingly well here like a vigilance holo to all slipknot fans m4a4 polymag has a spit it out written on its non-playable side it's a slipknot song name that got released in 1999 by the way, the weapon side you see in the game is always the same. If you switch your hands to left by writing CL right hand zero, you can still see the same side of the weapon. And yes, yeah, sadly, Spit It Out is written on the other side. Next up, a crazy fun fact. All Paul with 420 pattern has a stoner cat right in the middle Legendary. of the skin. There are glitched pixels on every real sticker at the very top. Valve, please fix. Huh? There are glitched pixels. I didn't know about that. On every real sticker oh, at the very top. Not. Valve, please fix. In a case hardened texture, there is so called thick area where male genital patterns are made of. And because of a fellow great YouTuber, Slum Booba, we now know that. <laughs> Slum Booba! <laughs> Una Pixel's phenomenal AK 47 case hardened pattern kind of touches the thick area with its tip. Make oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That is so cool. That makes me love my AK even more than I already. I already have the craziest connection to this AK. Oh my God, bro. Just the tip. Making it officially a dick hardened AK. How can one underperform with this bad boy? I'm no. so happy that I'm watching this video right now. Idea. There's a website that shows to you what is profit wise the best case to open. At the time I'm making this video, a recoil case has the best ROI. Wild glove case has the absolute worst ROI as it's near 20%. 20% <laughs> oh my god oh my god bro i remember when this was the highest ri was like some weird case it was like weapon case 2 or something sometimes the it seems a little bit weird because i don't know if this considers blue gems if this considers you know all the rare patterns and stuff which sometimes like for example all the old cases could feature the 1.5 million dollar remit, the hundred thousand dollar blue gem, and so on. You know, which I don't think they don't uh, they do. Sometimes I think those odds may be a little bit different in reality. Bowie, Falchion, Huntsman, and Butterfly knives are the only knives in the game where the pattern is mirrored, meaning that it looks the same from both sides. Alrighty, German GG experienced an in-game skin bug where after planting the bomb at the last possible second, it combined the bomb with his knife skin for the next whole round. Lol. It's exactly like a lore skin for the bomb. Would you buy a skin for your bomb if Valve introduced this? Your fast fingers are welcome. That one, yes. In the comments. The AK-47 Fire Serpent's design is based off Xugodl, a mythological serpent from Aztec's religion, arguably one of the nicest looking AK skins in the game with such a deep backstory. Where are the haters? Where are the Fire Serpent haters in the chat? Bro, there's so many people hating that skin. I'm an enjoyer. I'm a Fire Serpent enjoyer. This one is, it's OG. It's green. I usually like green. It's a nice artwork. It's got some default M elements, which I think are kind of cool. I like it, bro. A clock reactor holds multiple teeth type patterns in its texture alternatives. Grrr. Thanks to Jesus, we know that there's a very popular sticker combo in China. This NVS sticker combined with an MSL sticker creates Ooh. the NMSL result, which means your mom is dead. Newer souvenir cases are boring because they don't have player signatures on the skins anymore, just the team ones. In theory, this should make older legendary skins like Pasha's souvenir dealer even more powerful. I wish you all the best in life, including not to unbox stat rack knives because they are harder to sell and stat rack counters on the blade just ruin the eye candy. The more kills you get, the messier it looks. Alrighty, the eyes of Melon Drama will go grey when you get this skin in a bad condition. In fact, in new condition, they are there. And as battle scarred, your melon comes with no eyes. UMP Minotaur's Labyrinth holds multiple yeah. rare patterns in it. Whenever you see a Minotaur in the middle of the skin, you are considered to be a lucky man. Yes, sir. 
and one of my favorite skins in my collection is this. UMP Minotaur's Labyrinth. If I search for UMP Minotaur's Labyrinth on the database, sorting by lowest float, right there. Number one lowest float in the world, right? In our possession. You already know I bought this off an OG OG collector. I bought his whole collection. Absolute legend. I made a whole video on it. The craziest deal that I've ever done in my life. All OG number one lowest floats. One of them already got beaten, by the way. Number one, Orbs of Fari Mesh got beaten. Sadly, the only skin that's so far beaten from the, uh, the collection deal that I did. I think I gave it to a friend. Yeah, I gave it to Headhunter for birthday, I think. Rest in peace on that. UMP, number one lowest float, features the rare Centered Minotaur. Chat, this skin is so insane that it's the number one lowest float and the rare pattern. It's, 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 it's the same. It is just not common to get the Minotaur in the middle. Look, I'm checking random one, I'm checking another random one, boom, the Minotaur's on the left, I'm checking another random one, zack, maybe under, uh, boom, checking another random one, no Minotaur, checking another random one, zack, no Minotaur, checking another random one, zack, uh, Minotaur, checking another random one. Okay, this is more common than I actually thought it was. And by the way, Labyrinth of the Minotaur is a real place from Crete's glorious Bronze Age civilization. And a Minotaur was put in a maze, so it couldn't be dangerous to other oh. civilization. And a Minotaur was put in a maze. Dark and darker. I want to play Dark and Darker. This is how the maps look like in Dark and Darker. I'm so addicted. Sorry for that. So it couldn't be dangerous to other inhabitants of Knossos Palace. If you don't want to play with the default M4, but at the same time kinda want to play with it, then a really battle scarred faded zebra looks like a default M4, and that's the closest you can get to a stat rack default M4, bon appetit. Autograph stickers can cause a decent amount of drama, at least this Carrigan's Rio sticker did. Some Brazilian fans were thinking Carrigan was supporting one of their president candidates, as Bolsonaro's what? number was 22 as well, and they had ongoing elections at the same time as Rio CSGO Mage. Oh my god, that is so stupid. Do you remember? Like, for me, I thought he was gonna show the, what was it? I think Inters, his sticker. People were thinking that, or people were giving him hate for uh, thinking that the ah it was Shiro sorry it was Shiro people were thinking that the Z like people were thinking that first of all that it was a Z and that the Z and in, in, I think in Russian it means something like connected to the war and something really really bad but he just underlined it like he as well I think he even showed proof and anything and had to make a tweet like hey guys I didn't mean anything with that I just underlined my my signature like he got a ton I remember there was so many Twitter threads on this so many yet he went with R's to two's design just because it's his shirt number and 2022 was a very special year in his life, some amazing tournament runs and he also got married. In Chinese version of CSGO, they do censor a lot of stuff, mainly skulls, but even on official maps, they censor some texts, etc. It's weird, but strangely enough, some of the changed skin designs look way nicer in Chinese version mm -hmm. than they do worldwide. For example, UMP Primal Saber, MAC-10 Curse and Bloodhound Gloves look yeah. phenomenal. I was about to show it if he didn't show it. Fairy Gloves. And Chad, how amazing is that? Rawr. Maybe it's just a need of refreshment. Probably the only CSGO YouTuber to have their own pattern. Here's Anomaly on a slaughter knife. Just turn it sideways <laughs> and boom, like brothers. That's and funny. the same slaughter texture can also create the seat pattern. And a pack. Bro, I wanted to buy, like we all remember this, right? The CSGO lounge meme. Um, but bro, I never even like realized it's on the backside. Like now it's clear when seeing it, it's on the mother second backside. <laughs> I kind of I wanted to buy one, but it, it kind of stopped me from buying it because it's uh, man. I thought it was on the play side. Can be on the play side too. Yeah, but the original one was on the backside. The sit pattern and a Pac-Man pattern and a Kanye pattern. Wait. He's gone. Next up, oh. did you know that there are almost double the amount of AUG and SG skins compared to the actual main rifles, M4s and AKs? No. Around 16 million M4A4s against 36 million AUGs and around 19 million AKs against 36 million SGs. It should be vice versa, right? Now we Is that because the AKs and M4s usually get higher quality rating? Probably right. They usually make them reds, they usually make them purples, they usually make them pinks. Not a lot of blues. A lot of blue SGs, fillers. Rare Charizard pattern on the blue tire shotgun. Pattern ID 51, but it's... Charizard pattern. This is actually only a thing because it scratches in that way. Those are scratches. It is not the skin, it's not pattern based. The scratches are pattern based. So, Pattern Index 51, if you didn't know, where the scratches are located on the skin 
are as well determined by the pattern index of the skin. Yeah, that's why um, pattern index 51, you get a Charizard because the scratch pattern reveals it. Important to understand that it doesn't work with all types of wear. For example, in factory new condition, yeah. this skin. And that's why in FN, it doesn't show. The scratches need to be there perfectly. I think it's only in well worn or something. It's not scratched enough to present the beast Pokemon to its fullest. If you never felt the true support when being in gunfights from your friends, there is R8 skin that can support you when you are a couple of bullets in. R8 junkyard starts to cheer you up with firstly, uh -huh. you can do it, 10 probably, and 10 nothing more. That's so you cute. can't rely on this support either. That's life. There are exactly 132 4X Katowice 2014 Titan Holocrafts in existence, and it's gonna be near impossible to significantly raise this number in the future. Keep in mind that some of the items are also banned and left on forgotten users. If you do own this craft, hold it like Valve holds Source 2, tease but never release. Currently the absolute highest float item in the game is this R8 Junkyard, 0.69's float. It actually doesn't look that bad. Nate King, eh, that's false. Wait, he may he may go into it at all. Only a little rusty. <laughs> I love how Booty is mad <laughs> because he owns like the actual number one high school item. <laughs> of <laughs> bro, chill, man. <laughs> so instead of promised thirty things, this was already a thing number thirty-five. So yeah, yeah, yeah. let me quickly correct that. It is true. It is true. It is the number one highest float skin in the world. But there's not just one number one highest float skin in the world. If we search for highest float, there is multiple. Yeah. This one has a float of 0.9999998807900. Number one highest float skin in the world, right? Shows us the number one. But this one is as well the number one highest float skin in the world. This one is as well. There are in total 13 unboxed skins that have the exact same float and are therefore all considered the number one highest float skin in the world. Yeah. It only shows on top. Because I think it's like the, the most recent traded or something. So if somebody, I don't even know how it gets to the top. But these are all number one highest float skin in the world. All of them are as collectible as number one highest float skin in the world as the R8. Oh, number two. <laughs> and expect to click on the sub button as a return. See ya. Very cool video, by the way. WWW Nate King as always, bro. Legend.